Hey traders, happy Monday to all of you. So I just spent over one hour going through cryptos, FX, stock indices, commodities, and I gotta say that there are very few if any assets catching my attention this morning at the moment. And guess what? That is completely fine for me. We must take care of what we can control and the rest will let the market dictate when it's time for us to take a step. Part of trading, as I always tell to my students, is knowing when market conditions are gonna be favorable and when are not going to be favorable for your particular strategy. When it's favorable, we go for it, at times we go hard for it, and when it's not, we just chill out a bit and it is just essentially inevitable. You know, at times the market is just not going to be moving. So being able to sit on your hands separates, in my opinion, the good or the average traders from the great traders in my opinion and when i say by chilling out what i suggest and i recommend is that that's the time to put in the hours to go through my course material back testing gaining confidence and essentially just perfecting your craft so that uh, at the end of the road that is going to be making a huge difference in your development now Personally, myself, I've fallen into the trap of trading out of impulsivity due to boredom or by the selection of suboptimal trades way too often in the past. Now, in retrospect, I find that the need for trading action really reflects treating trading as an adrenaline booster, and that to me is essentially the worst possible approach. Now, the more that I thought about it, the more I realized that part of uh, the reason that we want to get those adrenaline boost uh, experiences is due to the fact that as traders, we associate trading with uh, excitement and acceleration as money is at stake. Why well, should say that traders that have not properly developed their mindset. Now, if you're the type of trader that uh, is linking up trading with a source of adrenaline by observing your account go up and down nonstop, that's another trade that you must get rid of at the earliest possible time. Trust me, trading should be seen as an exercise of self-control, as an exercise of constrained emotions, patience, authenticity with yourself, commitment, and the list essentially just goes on and on and on. And eventually this is going to result in letting the market dictate, which is the whole point of this video, when a setup is in line with your edge and that is a setup that can be exploitable instead of you forcing anything that the market that the market does not throw at you. So the more that you can detach trading as a source of excitement to instead perceive it as an intellectual activity that provides as a byproduct of your consistent actions, monetary rewards, then the easier that it will become for any trader to apply the necessary patience that it takes to become a trader that let the market come to you and so you embrace this notion of, as I said, patience and let the market come to you. Now, if along the way you find that you're left waiting on the sidelines without any trigger longer that you can bear, you should then start considering slight adjustments such as adding markets to your watch list, lowering your time frame so that you can actually get into a bit more of granular uh, activity, capturing that activity into the lower time frames. The whole point actually of my mentor room is that students can always contact me to help them find solutions so that you can find a remedy to what in my opinion is a fairly easy addressable issue before it leads you down the path of over trading and failing on this big topic of letting the market come to you versus chasing it out. All right, so I hope that this lesson has been of uh, you know value to you. I'll see you in the next video. Hey traders, Ivan from Global Prime here. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, a comment below, and remember, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to get notified of the next video update. And whenever you're ready to join my course and the mentor room that I run, then be sure to click the link below, sign up, and I'll do my absolute best to take your trading to the next level. See you on the inside.